Here on hallowed ground in West Warwick, you can see the memorial start to take shape. It's surreal that it's finally happening. Um, it's been a long time coming. For Station Fire Memorial Foundation President Gina Russo, a survivor who lost her fiance Fred Chrysostomy, the project is personal. I'm so excited about sort of bringing peace to the families, to myself, um, to honor Fred. And the 99 others who lost their lives here on February 20th, 2003, a date the state will never forget. The foundation has been working closely with the design and architectural team for years to come up with a permanent memorial for the site. They got to know us so well that they they put our vision on paper. A vision that includes incorporating the element that had brought them all together that night, music. The 100 monuments that will be placed throughout the park are shaped like speaker boxes. Um, when you're walking through the gateway of the park, it's the neck of a guitar and then it flares out and that's where the gazebo will be. The park will be built with the support of Gilbane Building Company and the Laborers International Union as well as many others in the local business community. It's not lost on people how important it is that we do something that is lasting. Joe Macarell is on the fundraising campaign committee and president of Washington Trust, which donated $50,000 to the project, one of many large contributions so far. More than anything, I think people in the business community have an obligation when something like this happens to be involved, and the reception from really everyone, particularly from the banks, has been very, very good. What Centerville Bank did for us a few months ago by opening up the door with a $150,000 check. In fact, in less than a year, the foundation has been able to raise more than $1.3 million, more than half of the $2 million needed to build and maintain the memorial. Support for the project is coming from all sectors of the state. This is an appropriate way to remember the, you know, the souls that were lost there as well as, uh, you know, so many people impacted. Uh, so we, I didn't hesitate. I just think it's a wonderful effort. Former Governor Don Carcieri stepped up to co-chair the campaign. He was just a month into his first term when the station fire occurred. The hot break, uh, the pain was overwhelming at the time, you know, meeting with the families and going through the whole process. Rhode Island's faith communities also played a pivotal role in the aftermath of the fire and continue to support the effort to build a permanent memorial. A place to pray, a place to remember, to reflect. Reverend Bruce Greer was chaplain for the Warwick Fire Department at the time of the fire and counseled firefighters on scene all night. A ministry of presence, and that is that the most important thing is to be present and to be available and just to be with people as they experience what they're experiencing. Uh, you're in a moment of chaos. And what will be here now will be a sharp contrast to the chaos of that night. And everything about the park is just peace. It's all about peacefulness, and that's what we want. The crosses and mementos that have graced the site for years have been placed in an underground vault that will sit beneath the memorial, clearing the way for construction to begin. A light at the end of the tunnel for those who've been working so hard on the project, like Jody King, who lost his brother Tracy. It's nice finally getting voices. It's nice sitting down at a table, seeing that process, the process and the progress. Progress the foundation wants to accelerate now. The push is on to raise the remaining funds needed. The goal is to have the memorial complete by fall of 2016, a goal that, after nearly 13 years, is finally within reach. You very seldom get this many groups together to do one thing, and that's the beauty of this. That's, that's what Rhode Island is all about. Moving forward to make sure no one forgets what brought us all here in the first place. A real testament to Rhode Island that no matter what else is going on in Rhode Island, we do stick together. Thank you.